Hello, future Vikings. Welcome to our first ever virtual open house event. As you all know, it's been an exciting year with lots of challenges and new ways to do things. So we thank you all for joining us. Just want to let you know that this event is being recorded and you can access it using the same link that you use to access this event. So once this concludes, the same link will then display the video. Feel free to share it as needed. Rewatch it if there's certain parts that you want to focus in on or if you miss a section, you can rewatch the video. Also, we have a couple of staff members that are monitoring the Q&A section. If you have a question that can be answered, they will gladly do that. We will also gather some information from all participants at the end so that we can follow up with you in the future. And later in the presentation at the end, we will also have all of the ways that you can stay in touch and contact us if additional questions come up. We truly appreciate your time. First, let me start by sharing the mission of Omaha North High Magnet School is to prepare all students for success in lifelong studies and careers. And for us, these are not just words on a page. We strive to bring these words to life with our efforts on a daily basis. We enjoy a tradition of excellence here at North High, and for us that means that we have hardworking and dedicated staff who, work, who are committed to improving their craft. We also seek to cultivate a growth mindset for students to help them understand that you learn from failure and that failure builds resiliency, and resiliency ultimately contributes to your success. We're proud of the family atmosphere that is well established at North High. We encourage students to pursue their interests and uh, that align with their talents and passions. We then work hard to equip them with the knowledge, skills, and abilities that they need to be successful in those endeavors. We feel very strongly that um, this is just a, a, a place where every student can find where they belong. We have about 1,900 students that come from all over the metro. Our class sizes range anywhere from 18 to 28 students, again, depending on the courses. And again, a this is a place where opportunities for your future start when you walk in the door. We want to bring learning alive and bring those opportunities day one. I thought since I am the new principal, I wanted to take a few minutes to share a little bit about my background. I am a Texan with Louisiana ties. I've been living in Omaha for about 21 years, originally from San Antonio, Texas. I am a school psychologist as well as a licensed psychologist. I am bilingual, fluent in English and Spanish. My role in the district previously has been as a school psychologist as well as an, a coordinator of psychological services, assistant principal at Fullerton Magnet, and I spent my previous two years as the principal at Field Club Elementary. And now I'm the proud new principal at North High. And I am in the middle of my 21st year of service to, to Omaha Public Schools. As the leader of North High, I truly believe that the buck stops with me. So I want you all to know a little bit more about me so that you feel comfortable leaving your children in my and the team's care. So these are, this is my mission, vision, and values. If you were to come to my office, you would see these posted on my door. My mission is to support, strengthen, and inspire those I serve. My values, that which I focus my work, is our faith, honesty, integrity, kindness, and love. My vision is to always be positive, cultivate relationships, live well, and serve others. And the graphic you see, I believe, just represents the style of leadership. I believe in rolling up your sleeves and working alongside folks and not just asking other people to do things. And while we aren't, I'm not here to make other students adopt my values, we are here to help students discover who they are so that they know what they stand for. So today you'll have a chance to hear a little bit more about the STEM Academy. Uh, we, of course, focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. We have courses in engineering, biomedical science, computer science, and precision machining, among many others. 
We focus on experiential learning for our students. We want to make sure to bring the real world to them as they are learning. We also make sure we provide students collaborative projects that they can uh, work across subject areas. We want them to bring all skills to bear as they do their work. And you'll hear about opportunities that are exclusive to Omaha North. And now I will turn it over to Mr. Anton. Hi, thank you, Dr. Nero. Uh, my name is Alexander Anton. I am a teacher here at Omaha North High School in my fifth year of service at OPS. Uh, and I teach biology, AP biology, and biomedical sciences. Uh, so today I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what makes the science programs at Omaha North so special. Um, you know, when I was, you know, started in the field of teaching because I actually have a background in research, um, I interviewed here and I was kind of blown away by the opportunities that they have and uh, the variety in different programs. So that for me uh, kind of sealed it that this is where I wanted to be. And I think it really is the place uh, for everyone. We start by talking about our physics first program uh, where students who have a strong background in math can come in and immediately take physics. Um, that lets them kind of knock out their science requirements right away. And then they have um, the remaining uh, you know, three years of high school where they can take lots of electives if science is their interest. Uh, we do offer AP Physics 1 and 2. You know, we offer uh, additional AP courses in the form of AP Biology, AP Chemistry, and AP Environmental Science. Uh, this year, for the first year, we're actually offering uh, dual enrollment AP Biology, and I think it's very exciting to me, uh, not only because I'm teaching it, but because um, students who dual enroll in, in AP Biology can earn more college credits uh, taking those courses than they can in any other dual enrolled science course uh, through UNO. And so that's a really exciting opportunity for the students that we have going through that program. In addition to our courses, we have uh, lots of extracurricular activities for students to be involved in. We have a science club that meets once a week, and that is also a part of our Science Olympiad program, uh, where we have students compete in a variety of science-based events against other schools from the state. Uh, we also have our HOSA, Future Medical Professionals chapter, uh, that is uh, a more recent addition that just started a couple years ago, but they've done really well and um, have even competed at the national level down in Florida. And so that was a really cool thing. And we also have a science quiz bowl team uh, that has done exceedingly well in recent uh, in the recent years. So a lot of opportunities for students to uh, get out there and also, uh, you know, explore opportunities uh, in competition. Another really awesome thing that we have at uh, North High is that we have a ton of science electives. We have uh, more science electives than most of the other schools in the local area. Uh, and what that means is that students can uh, take classes that they are passionate about, things that they are interested in, uh, or they have the opportunity to explore and see what they might be interested in. Uh, these are things like uh, astronomy, marine biology, which you would never kind of expect to see. You know, we're landlocked right in the middle of Nebraska, uh, but we have a marine biology course. Uh, zoology for students that are interested in uh, working, you know, maybe at the local zoo or just studying the variety of organisms on a, on the planet. Plants and propagation, I think, is a very uh, neat course. They actually uh, learn about, you know, how plants are grown um, and they, as part of that, make use of our greenhouse, which is attached to our haddock center. And that's, uh, again, something that not all schools have and a really cool thing. I've seen a lot of really um, a lot of really awesome plants come out of that greenhouse and students that go in there thinking they won't be interested come out uh, you know with a green thumb it's really cool uh, forensics for students who might be interested in law enforcement we even set up uh, you know crime scenes and things for them to investigate as part of that and our food chemistry course uh, for students that are interested in that in those kind of programs Another program that we offer at North is our Project Lead the Way Biomedical Science program. We are the only school in OPS that offers this program, and it is a four year honor sequence. And uh, so what that means is that students will start these classes as a freshman and take them every year uh, through their senior year. The program focuses on project based learning, and so uh, students are frequently working with partners or groups uh, to perform experiments uh, and ultimately, you know, analyze data and understand how science works in the real world. Um, the goal of the program is that it prepares them for a college or medical career 
Uh, so the first year as freshmen, they spend uh, their course exploring different um, you know, experiments that represent various uh, professional opportunities in the biomedical um, in the biomedical career. The second year uh, is a anatomy and physiology course where they learn about the inner workings of the human body. Uh, the third year is a lab focused uh, course where they kind of engage in a lot of um, laboratory experimentation and understanding how data works. And then the senior level course is fully project based, uh, designing their own experiments, uh, reaching their own conclusions and understanding how science works in the real world. Uh, this is a awesome opportunity. It also feeds into some of our internship opportunities that we have here at North. Uh, we have our Haddock STEM corridor program, which works with Creighton. And in the last couple of years, we've just started a program with UNMC uh, where students, uh, and these are any students, not just our biomedical science students, but any students can apply for this opportunity uh, to work with researchers at UNMC that are interested in having high school students come in and experience uh, scientific research firsthand. Um, so we have a lot of amazing opportunities uh, in the form of biomedical science. So if your student thinks that they might be interested in research or in medicine, Omaha North is the place to be, I guarantee it. And now we'd like you guys to uh, meet some of our fantastic administrative staff, and then uh, we are going to uh, go ahead and start that video for you. Thank you for your time today. Omaha North Magnet High School. Administrators, teachers, support staff are here to support you, the family, and also students during their educational journey. It is of utmost importance that the moment that you reach North Campus that you have an enjoyable experience. So we're going to share a couple of tips that will help you be successful during that journey. So did you know that teachers are typically parked on the south side of campus? Families and students park on the north side of campus. This is for us to be safe and to have a continuous flow of traffic. Currently, I am standing in front of the MPC Center. Here is where some students take their fitness and training classes. Also, there's a weights room and an indoor track that's accessible to our athletic department and also our sports teams. But did you know this is where we have our freshman orientation? Also, our parent and teacher conferences are held in the MPC. So hope to see you soon. Did you know that we have a freshman on track team? We are completely dedicated to making sure that your child is embraced for their full and authentic selves. We want to make sure that we are here to support them through their educational journey. And so we also understand that it takes a partnership. So did you know that you can check your student's academic progress and grades through the parent portal? It is easy to set up an account. Just go to the district website, click on the parents tab, your first option is the Campus Parent Portal. Click the link and set up an account. Hi families, want to stay connected? Well, follow us on Twitter at OPS underscore North High. Check in every once in a while, like our page, and follow us. Don't have Twitter and still want to stay connected? Join us on Facebook. Our Facebook name is Omaha North High Magnet School. One of my very favorite things about North is that we go above and beyond to academically support our students. Did you know that one of our unique resources is the homework help room, where teachers of every subject stay after school in room 264 on Tuesdays through Fridays from 3 to 5 in order to help students with their homework. North also has a number of academic supports for students who are interested in going to a community college or four-year university, including Avenue Scholars, College Possible, and NCPA. Did you know we also recently launched a new mentorship program called Viking 100. Viking 100 matches students with a teacher in order to improve their grades, attendance, and leadership skills. Hi families, it's me again. Still want to be in the know? We have a newsletter. If you're not connected, make sure you update your contact information in the Infinite Campus Parent Portal. Did you know that North High School is staffed with some very hardworking, dedicated, and well-rounded professionals to support you, the student. Did you know here at North High School, you need 49 credits to graduate. You'll earn 13 during your freshman year. And throughout your day, you'll attend a block schedule 
which means you'll be in each of your classes for around 90 minutes. We just, uh, we stopped that video. We're not sure if that was working through the live stream or not. We've got another video here after a bit that we're gonna try it again and play it. If it does not work, you can always find those videos on our webpage, which the link for our webpage will be available at the end of the presentation. And they're also available on our Facebook page. Um, and that link will be at the end as well. So as we move on here, if we go to the next slide here, I'm here to, uh, my name is John Hankel. I am one of the curriculum specialists here at North High School. I've been a teacher here at North for the past 20 years in the area of engineering and computer science. Uh, this is my first uh, year as a curriculum specialist, and I'm excited to tell you about all the technology options that we have here at North High School. The, if we take a look at the first page here, our first thing we're gonna talk about is the computer science pathway. What we have is a four year honor sequence of courses that allow your students to get uh, to obtain knowledge about computer programming, computer hardware, um, app development, um, web page development, anything that we take a look at in the computer science field. And that four year sequence ends your senior year with a capstone course that is an open-ended project-based class that you can use to work on your own projects and your own things that you want to try related to computer science. Okay, Along with the classes that you have during the school day, there's also options for you for competitions. We have traveled uh, all over the state to some different colleges around uh, in Missouri, South Dakota, in Iowa, competing with our computer science students. They might have a competition where they have to design a program for uh, to solve a problem. They might have a quiz bowl where they answer questions about computer history or computer programming knowledge. Um, and so that's an opportunity uh, that you could have uh, if you're in part of those classes here at North High School. The other piece that we have in our computer science pathway is our dual enrollment options. We have uh, three of our computer science pathway classes that we can dual enroll. Most of those are dual enrolled with uh, University of Nebraska at Omaha, UNO, and they allow you to get college credit along with your high school as you're taking those classes. So those are some great opportunities if you know you're interested in computer science, if you know you're interested in technology, those classes will get you a start into earning that college degree after high school. If we go on to the next slide here. Oh, hang on just one second here. If we go back there, you can see there the picture of the classroom. That's actually the classroom that I am standing in right now. That is our one of our computer science classrooms that we have here at North. We'd love to be able to take you around our building and show you today, but obviously uh, we're not able to do that during these times. So. Just an idea of that's what our one of our computer science classrooms looks like. Go ahead, Tyler. So another option that we have in our technology uh, area is our media technology uh, pathway and our media technology classes. The media technology is also a four year pathway that has honors classes where students are looking at industry standard technology and media and audio and video software. So some of the things we uh, take a look at in those classes are some iMovie. Students have a chance to create their own movies and broadcast using iMovie. They have an opportunity to, to do some music design, you know, making songs and making beats and things like that using GarageBand. And then in those upper level classes, we get into maybe a little bit more professional software that you're not gonna find uh, just for the everyday consumer. Um, and so a couple of those programs, Final Cut Pro, uh, which is a uh, industry standard high-end uh, video editing software. Um, 
Logic Pro is another one that you can use for um, audio and video. And one of the really neat things about those media technology classes is that we try to incorporate real, real world projects in all of those four years of classes. So students are going to um, be designing maybe a PSA, public service announcement videos. They might be working on a like a 30 second commercial that would be designed to play over the radio or one that's made to put on a website for people to get some interest to. Um, all over the country, people request um, contests that, you know, maybe um, uh, Nike wants to have a short video that explains their new shoes or their, one of their new products and they'll and they'll send out a request for people to make a, a video that explains those projects and our students find those uh, activities make the videos and send them in and sometimes we're lucky enough to be able to be picked for uh, you know a prize that you get from those by winning those contests so some great real world opportunities in that media technology um, classes. There's a picture there of a student working on one of the computers there that uh, with uh, I think that was uh, logic cut. So another thing in our technology department, uh, we have uh, a great VEX robotics team uh, that we have classes during the school day and we also have uh, after school competition teams that get the chance to design robots, build robots and then take those robots and compete in the up in the contests in the competitions uh, throughout the state throughout the country and then throughout the world one of the great opportunities we've had for our students in the past is they have traveled to um, uh, china they have traveled to japan to compete in some of these worldwide uh, robotics competitions uh, you can see there are many pictures there of uh, students in different uh, parts of that phase of building a robot and competing. You can see down there in the bottom left that they have uh, VEX's, uh, one of their mottos is think, create, build, and amaze. And so that's the idea, that's the whole process. We think about what we're gonna uh, wanna do, we create it with some drawings, we build it, and then we amaze people when we get to go and compete with those robots uh, in those competitions. Okay, uh, next slide. Another piece in our technology part that that kind of also uh, transfers into our engineering uh, section that uh, we'll talk about here in a little bit is our precision machining uh, classes and our precision machining academy that we have here at North High School. OK, this is a class that's available for sophomores, juniors and seniors. Unfortunately, uh, our ninth graders, uh, we just don't have enough time built into the school day because the sophomore classes of those are two class periods and you guys and freshmen just don't have enough uh, time built into their schedule. But as a sophomore, junior and senior, if you have an opportunity to participate in the Precision Machining Academy, we have uh, a dual enrollment uh, partnership with Metro Community College. And while here at North, students can earn over 60 credits towards a precision machining uh, certificate or uh, degree at Metro Community College. So every class that you take in our Precision Machining Academy is able to be dual enrolled and earn college credit through Metro Community College, okay? If you decide not to go to Metro Community College and you're still part of that Machining Academy, you still are able to earn all of these certifications that are listed here that might just go out and get you a, a machining job just maybe right out of high school. So we have certifications in OSHA, uh, which is a 10 hour certification that basically says you know how to work safely in a shop and and you know about uh, fire hazards and things like that. Uh, Mastercam is a CNC uh, two dimensional mill and lathe uh, certification. We offer that here. You can also get a uh, certification for using a Haas uh, CNC mill. And we have one of those. I think we've got a picture of it on the next slide that I'll that I'll point out to you. Uh, and then we also have some other uh, certifications through the National Institute for Metalworking, uh, such as measurement, material, safety, and bench layout, all working with trying to design and build uh, machining projects as you go through there. Next slide. So here's a picture uh, of a few different pictures of some of the uh, some of the machining shop that we have here. Um, 
And again, we're the only high school in Nebraska that has uh, this precision machining uh, program with Metro Community College. The bottom left there, uh, you can see there's one of our group of uh, students from a couple of years ago that were in our machining classes. And then on the right side there, you can see there's pictures of our uh, lathes and the mills that we have down in our machine shop. I think one of the videos, if it works later, takes you kind of as a, as a walking th tour through the machine shop as well. So look forward to that. And like I said, if it doesn't work, the video, uh, you can always find those on our website and on our Facebook page, which we'll share with you towards the end. I think the next slide is, I'm gonna let Mr. Yelly uh, talk and have a good rest of your day. Good afternoon, future Vikings. Uh, my name is Mr. Yelly. I've been at Omaha North High School for 18 years now. Uh, four of them were as a student and 14 of them were as a teacher. Um, I am currently an engineering and mathematics teacher at Omaha North High School. Uh, as far as part of the engineering program, um, I actually get to teach two of the years of our four years, uh, four year honors program that we have. Uh, as we go through our four year honors program, uh, we provide college credit opportunities, not in the form of dual enrollment, but in the form of students being able to get elective credit in particular engineering uh, or engineering uh, specialty uh, colleges around uh, the country. We also offer career experiences each year as part of our engineering academy. Uh, this allows students to not just think about engineering as one thing, but to get into the particular disciplines within engineering and get a feel for the specialty that they want to end up pursuing and spending their career um, working within. Our four year program starts out with two foundational courses. So our freshmen um, and sometimes sophomores that join us a little bit later uh, get to take introduction to engineering design. Students are working in the 3D software uh, called Inventor. Uh, this is an industry standard software that really introduces students into design, but also into uh, some aspects of mechanical engineering. We bring industry speakers both uh, into the classroom at this uh, stage, and sometimes our freshmen also get to go out into industry and, and listen to speakers as well. Uh, as uh, those students are going out into the world, uh, they're not just uh, in large groups, uh, you, know, you know, 50, 60 students. Um, we try to uh, have industry tours where they're, they're more personalized. Um, and with our advisory board at North High School, um, we have many people that are out there in the industry that are willing to give their time um, and more one on one attention to the students as they're uh, taking these tours and seeing what is out there for them uh, within Omaha. Our second course is principles of engineering. Uh, that is one of the courses that I teach. It is really a survey course that goes through many of the different disciplines within engineering. Um, and really is an applied physics types of type of course going through thermodynamics, statics and, and many other things. Uh, we mix up our career experience and, and this year we uh, look at what is called a roundtable experience. Uh, we did it for the first time last year and students uh, instead of just going in and looking through, uh, you know, maybe a place of employment, uh, students were able to go out to a job site in particular and uh, see how that job site would transition throughout the year and look at uh, how different companies within manufacturing or within uh, the industry, within engineering, uh, worked on those job sites and turned them from where they were in the fall to where they ended up being in the spring. Also with this year, uh, students are asked to do professional interviews. They are asked to find two people in the dream careers that they're looking at, interview them, get their own take on uh, the career that these students are thinking about, and then also write a research paper uh, about those careers as well. That leads us nicely into our junior year where we feel like after a student's freshman and sophomore year, uh, they're able to, to really get a feel for where they might want to specialize. And students are able to take more than one elective course their junior year and also potentially more than one of our courses their sophomore year and then also their senior year. So the four elective courses that we currently have at North High School and we often think about adding more as well, uh, is civil engineering and architecture. Students are in that course uh, specifically 
are are given mentors. Uh, they work with a uh, organization called ACE, which stands for Architecture, Construction and Engineers. Uh, this is a professional group that uh, brings mentors into our classrooms. Uh, this year they're meeting with us uh, virtually and students are given a, a actual problem outside of our uh, school walls that they work on designing a solution for. Uh, then they present that solution also to industry professionals uh, at the end of the year. Obviously, this would be a, a class that students that are interested in, in all the different aspects of civil engineering as well as architecture would take. Uh, the next one moving down is computer integrated manufacturing. Uh, this is where students uh, learn many different uh, things as far as automation goes and really can prepare students for a potential career or, or get their feet wet in thinking about industrial engineering and, and taking courses like that in college. Next, we have computer science principles. Uh, this class allows students that are maybe looking at uh, some of the programming aspects of something like automation or manufacturing um, or you know, small scale electronics and, and learning really the software engineering piece of that. And then lastly, we offer digital electronics, which really helps those students get their feet wet as far as electrical engineering goes. And, and really this year, what we want them to do more than anything else is to spread out, find their real niche, and then we bring them back together their senior year into our capstone course. This capstone course is called Engineering Design and Development. It is similar to the capstone that we offer in computer science. We actually modeled the computer science one after this. It's an open-ended uh, design class. Uh, this is another one of the classes that I teach. Um, along with this open-ended design, we're asking students to fulfill internships, either between their junior and their senior year um, or during their senior year. Uh, sometimes we have students that are concurrently fulfilling those internships and are able to uh, get mentoring help on the job site that they currently are in. Uh, however, we also bring mentors into this classroom as well. We bring back our ACE mentors for this senior year. And then we also uh, bring in SAME mentors, which stands for the Society of American Military Engineers. Uh, both of these organizations really flow well with our open-ended design projects where students are able to take the knowledge that they've gained in their first three years and really apply it in whichever situation that they want to. Um, this year, we have students that are looking at uh, putting an outdoor classroom in behind our Haddock Center. Um, we're also uh, a different group is looking at uh, creating more of a modular portable system. Uh, so maybe some of you uh, middle school students out there or elementary uh, or previously when you were in elementary school had to uh, maybe have a class in a portable. Um, we have a group of students that's looking to design a new type of portable that would enhance that learning experience um, that elementary, middle school and even some high school students have to go through. Um, and then one last one that I'll mention, uh, we have a group that is looking at furthering uh, the automated process of 3D printing. So you can really see that there's a vast array of types of projects that go on during our capstone year. Um, and, and students really have to have a diverse skill set um, and knowledge to be able to carry these projects off. Um, next, I will hand it off to Ms. Hutsey and she will discuss some of the mathematics at North High School. So you just had a chance um, to learn about our amazing science, technology, and engineering programs. But now we're finally to the best letter of the STEM. And I may not, I may be a little biased, but for me, that is going to be mathematics. And why is mathematics the best letter in STEM? Well, math may not allow us to add love and subtract hate, but it gives us hope that there's always a solution to a problem. And here at North High, we are in the problem solving business. And um, today I'm going to talk to you about our mathematics program. Hi, I'm Jenna Hutsey and I've been a math teacher here at North High for, well, this year is the 12th year. And you may wonder why I've been here so long and that's because of the amazing um, staff we have here in our math program and across the building and also the amazing students we have. And today I'm going to talk about our amazing math program. So first of all, um, here at North, we have the highest level math courses in Nebraska high schools. Now to put that in perspective, we have students graduating North High School with college credit in math courses that most students would not see till their junior or senior year of 
college. And we have students graduating that took those courses when they were a sophomore or a junior or a senior. And so that's one thing that's really great about our math program. Another thing is with those variety of college level math courses we offer, um, that puts students on an accelerated math sequence. So when they leave here, they're already well ahead of the game when it comes to mathematics when they go to colleges. Um, and the reason that they are is because we offer a wider range of AP and dual enrolled math courses, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Um, but before I move on to our math courses, besides what's going on in the classroom, we offer some amazing extracurriculars in mathematics. Um, first of all, we have this thing called the Brown Bag Math Club, and this is where students during their lunch period can go into a classroom and work together on math problems problems and eat lunch together. Now that may seem um, something very simple, but it's a big deal because besides math, a cool thing about North is that socially every student will find their niche. Um, I've been here, this is my 12th year, like I said, and I've seen students come in here and they're into so many different and diverse things, but no matter what, they always find a group of friends that like the same things as them. So for instance, if your kid likes math, they can find a social group with the Brown Bag Math Club. Another thing we offer here that's an extracurricular in math is our competitive math team. Um, our math team um, goes and competes in competitions at um, Northwest Missouri State, UNL, and then they come back here and compete in our very own North High School math competition. We also offer a pretty cool middle school math competition for if you have any younger kids as well. Now that I talked about those extra extracurriculars in math, let's move on to what's going on in the classroom. So now I'm going to talk about those courses in math we offer. OK, so I mentioned before that we offer a wider range of AP and dual enrolled courses. And what that means is it means students are getting college credit. Um, let's go over some of those courses. Calculus AB, which is like Calc 1, and Calculus BC, which is Calc 2. Both of these courses are dual enrolled and also offered um, through AP. And so what that means is that students will graduate with college credit in those courses. Um, we also offer Calculus 3, um, which is also AP and dual enrolled, and then differential equations. Now, I won't give you the year, but I took differential equations in college as a junior. I have students that leave my classroom, um, go on and take differential equations as juniors in high school. I was a junior in college, okay? So that's pretty impressive to me. Also, we offer AP um, statistics, which is also dual enrolled. And the reason that we're able to offer so many great AP and dual enrolled courses is again, our amazing math staff we have here. We have staff that further their education just so your students can get every opportunity they can mathematically before they leave here. Now, besides our AP and dual enrolled courses, um, we also offer a wide, wide a range of math enrichment courses. And these are courses that students, again, would not see until they go to college, but we're offering them here in our classroom. So students can kind of dab in the math courses that they may want to try just to see when they graduate here if they want to get a degree in math or maybe something else. We offer abstract algebra, number theory, probability, reliability theory, discrete math, linear algebra, mathematical proof and problem solving. Now to some of you, you may be like, what is that? Well, for those of you that are math majors, you'll know that those are courses that we take in college to get that math degree. So this is definitely the place to be mathematically. Now, what if your kid though, isn't really into anything with STEM. Well, of course we want them to try things and experiment and see if they like those courses in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but that's not for every kid. But don't worry, we have, we are very diverse here at North and not one dimensional. We offer other subjects that your students might be into. That being said, I'm gonna toss it off to Mr. Uh, McCauley and he's gonna talk about our performing arts program.
Hi everyone, my name is Mr. McCauley. I am the choir director here at Omaha North High Magnet School. It's my second year here at Omaha North, and I'm going to be presenting to you this afternoon on both our performing arts, but also our visual arts that we offer here at Omaha North High Magnet School. We'd like to take that A in art and just squeeze it right between the E and the M of STEM and get some steam rolling here as well. All right. So like I said, my name is Mr. McCauley. I'm the vocal music director here at Omaha North High Magnet School, and we have lots of vocal music offerings, choir offerings. We have three curricular concert choirs. The first is treble choir. So those are sopranos and altos, if you've been singing in uh, choir in middle school. And we get together and we sing. And we have men's choir or tenor bass choir. So we get to all the guys together and we get to sing some sea shanties and talk about our, our voices as guys. And then we also have an auditioned Choir. So after your freshman year, uh, you can audition for the top ensemble. It's a mixed ensemble that performs at district music contest in April, and it's a it's a really uh, high level ensemble. We also offer individualized voice lessons here at Omaha North. That's a full class during B4. And so let's say you get to your junior or senior year, and you know that you want to go on and audition for community plays. You want to audition for uh, scholarships at your college that you're going to, or you want to audition for uh, a degree, you want to be a vocal performance major. Well, during B4 class, so during one of our blocks, uh, we offer individualized voice lessons with me, and I work with students to prepare them for college auditions. I'm working on with a student right now for an audition for uh, UNO. We also offer show choir. Show choir is a huge thing in the Midwest and we travel all around the Midwest competing at various show choir competitions. Omaha North Show Choir is called Explosion, and uh, it's been performing around the Omaha area for about 20 years. The cool thing about our show choir that's different uh, than a lot of other places is that not only do you get a elective credit for show choir, but you also get a PE credit. So I know we got that block schedule. I know you want to take all the classes, all your math classes, all your engineering classes, and it might be hard to squeeze in uh, both music and your PE elective. Well, we can make it into one class. So that's something really, really cool that we do with show choir. And then also musical theater. I direct the musical here at the fall. We do a musical that's put on by uh, myself in the vocal mu music department and also Miss Sampson in the drama department. Last year, we did the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee for our musical. Really funny, great time. Before that, they did Charlie Brown. In the past, they've done Adam's Family, West Side Story, and so many more. So that's the vocal music department. Next is the instrumental music department. And that's, we'll start with band. So if you play trumpet, trombone, French horn, tuba, clarinet, saxophone, percussion, this is for you. That's directed by Mr. Helps. He's our band director. And we have two concert bands. The first is prep band, and that's open to uh, freshmen when they first come in. So you're working with all the freshmen and you're working with uh, people that have had the same experiences as you in middle school. And then the other band is concert band. Concert band is an auditioned ensemble, just like concert choir. And concert band does a lot of things. In the fall, they do marching band. And then in the winter, they also do uh, basketball band. So they go and play the pep band music at all the basketball games. So if that's something you're interested in, you can audition for concert choir or concert band, excuse me, right away when you get here. All right. And then in the spring, they also do district music contest as well. Moving on to orchestra. So if you play violin, you play cello, you play viola, you play upright double bass, that's for you, that's orchestra. That's directed by Miss Rose Rydberg, and she's the director here at Omaha North, but she's also the director over at McMillan, right down that way. So if you went to McMillan, you don't even have to change orchestra directors, which is so cool. It's a really, really neat vertical seven through 12, pro six through 12 process. So uh, she directs a freshman orchestra ensemble. So when you come in, again, you'll be with uh, students from all over, uh, different middle schools that come together here at Omaha North to play music together. Then there's a orchestra. So you move on to your second year, your, your sophomore year, and you can be in orchestra, which is 
a uh, fun ensemble where students come to perform and just get better at per, uh, practicing their instrument. And then there's honors orchestra, which you receive honors credit for. It's an audition ensemble, and that group goes to district music contest in April as well. With all three of these programs, band, orchestra, and choir, you can audition for all city, which some of you might have done in middle school, and you go and perform at the Holland Center. That's usually in February, and then you can also audition for all state. All State is in the fall, and you perform at the Nebraska Music Educators Association Conference in November, and they're really, really high honors, and you get to perform with uh, people all over the district and all over the state. The last performing art that we offer here at Omaha North High Magnus School is drama, and that's directed by Miss Sampson. She's pretty awesome. She does drama one, two, and drama three, four, so you can take drama two years, and then you can also take stagecraft. Stagecraft is maybe you don't like being on stage and performing, but you like to do the lights. You like to build and create props. Maybe you're in the engineering program and you wanna build something, build a set. That's for you, that's stagecraft, all right? And then they put on a play every spring. So musicals in the fall, spring is the play. And last year they did The Giver, which if you read that book, it's an awesome book. It was an awesome play. And I really enjoyed it, going to see it. And I think I worked it both nights. So it was awesome. It was great. And then uh, the drama program also does one acts, fall one acts. One acts are short one act plays that are taken to competitions all around uh, the Omaha metro area. So those are our fine and performing arts here at Omaha North. Next, we're going to move on to the visual art program here at Omaha North. All right. So if you're into painting, drawing, uh, and uh, coloring and all those things. We offer art for every single year here at you're at North. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you like to paint and draw, you can take a different art class every single year, which is really awesome. We also offer pottery for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can take pottery all four years that you are here at Omaha North, which I, which I think is really, really neat. We also offer digital design which is the uh, precursor to graphic design, which is a major in college. And that's paired with the business program here at North, which is really cool. And as you move on, we also offer AP art. So you can get college credit for art, which is pretty neat. And then we also offer opportunities to display your art. So there's the Scholastic Art Competition. There's the Audubon Society Art Contest, which is birds. It's K through 12, you draw birds and submit them. And then the senior art show. Once you reach your senior year here at Omaha North, and you can put your uh, uh, art up for display. And I do have a question. Uh, music classes are not required in high school, so uh, you yeah, you don't have to register for a music class. But you know, it'd be fun if you did. But my name is Mr. McCauley. Uh, I look forward to seeing you, and I'm going to pass it off to our uh, friends in the sports department, athletics. Hello, my name is Michaela Daly. I'm a teacher here and coach um, for the past 12 years at Omaha North High Magnet School, the best place to be. Um, I will be talking a lot about activities and athletics here at North, um, starting with the fall sports. Um, I want you to keep in mind that um, coming from the middle school, um, sports are ran a little bit different. Um, they have six week sessions with their uh, athletics. And when you get to high school, um, we have three seasons. So some of those kind of cross over. And so if you have a multi-sport athlete, um, it may change in high school. They might have to pick and choose depending on what season that particular sport is offered. Um, in fall sports, we have football, softball, cross country, volleyball, girls golf, and boys tennis. Okay. Um, next to all those, I have the particular head coach um, email address there so you can uh, access that and get more information specifically with that from them. You can move on. For winter sports, we have uh, girls basketball, which is I'm the head coach for that. And then we have boys basketball, Thomas Lichty, wrestling and swimming, Sean Froming. For spring sports, we have baseball, girls track, boys track, girls soccer, boys soccer, girls tennis and boys golf. 
Um, for girls track, uh, Coach Shante Paul is out of the building, um, but you can always um, contact me or uh, Brett Sailors for information specifically for that. Um, anytime that we are, um, she's out of the building, um, but there's her email address for that. Our year long sports is dance team um, and cheer squad. And so what I want to speci uh, specifically say about that is they do their tryouts in the spring. So they'll be already in the eighth grade state elective middle school. And so we do a good job here of, of sending out uh, the information to the middle school so that they know exactly when in April. Normally that is um, held um, with the tryouts for that. So that is very important because all the other sports um, try out obviously the next school year, but for dance and for cheer, they do it the current school year in the spring. So we will be getting information sent out to the middle schools for you to know exactly um, about the dance and the cheer tryouts for the upcoming school year. Sports physicals. Um, okay, so this is very, very important here. It must be dated after May 1st for the upcoming school year, okay? So we go year school year to school year. I know that it's a little bit different when you go to the doctor's office and say you get a, a physical in March. Um, and so you can't go back with your insurance company to the following March to get it. Um, but when you, whatever pertains to athletics at school, you have to have it May 1st of every single school year and after. So yes, they have to get a sports physical every single year. Um, and so with that being said, we also have um, easier access if it's hard to get into your uh, doctor's office uh, to get us a physical. Uh, we ask, we have health based schools clinics that are offered throughout um, our area um, that the process is very, very easy. You give them a phone call, they'll get you in quick in and out. Um, and so over here around our um, North High School area, we have Belvedere, King Science Center, Kellum and Northwest. That's all in our area here that you can always call up and uh, set up to get a sports physical each year for that. Um, and there's going to be more information. There's more. There's information with that on our district website and our North High uh, website where exactly the time and locations of those uh, particular uh, 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 clinics to where you can go get that done. Also, I want you to know that um, you also have to fill out. It's a very detailed um, athletic packet um, that requires the physical and insurance. And so with that being said, we offer athletic insurance if you do not currently have insurance for your kids. So we always we have something else for you to do uh, to access if you do not have insurance for your kids, but you must have athletic insurance um, in order to participate um, into any sport. And all that has to be taken care of um, before they try out. So we are not allowed to um, try out without having a physical or having that packet sent out, I mean, filled out. And with that being said, all that information is built into our um, school uh, information packet that we send out and it has everything in there that you need to fill out in order to do that. We um, now we'll turn it over to Coach Martin and he will talk about our academic coaching program. Thank you, Coach. I, I appreciate that. Um, good afternoon, future Vikings. Um, I'm Larry Martin. Um, I have been blessed to, to be the, uh, an educator here at Omaha North High School for 21 years uh, and, a, and a proud parent of three children uh, that could validate the quality of education that your children can receive here at, at North High School. Uh, some of my finest memories of my boys uh, being here at school, whether it was uh, all the different activities or academics that they were involved in or going over to Germany on some of the different trips or to Washington DC for some of those with their friends that they did with some of their classes, just really enhanced their, their educational experience here at North High School. So I, I, I thank them for that. Um, what I'm gonna talk to you about is sometimes our activities in athletics is considered the other half of your education, okay? And so here at North, we really value that. And one of the things that we feel of being a part of things that you have to learn how to do is your time management, right? And, and that's a, a big gift that you can learn in high school that can help you as you move forward after you leave 
uh, leave your, you know, leave North High School and go on to your different endeavors. And so we feel, or we have often felt, the district felt, of providing our academic pro uh, academic coaching program here at North High School. And I believe that we've gone above and beyond with the direction of Bryson Weiser of allowing our student athletes to have that support, okay, of where we uh, check our, our students' grades. And then not only do we just check them, but we I also feel very good about that we provide on Wednesdays after school an hour of tutorial or um, uh, time where we bring in different uh, disciplines to help support the student athletes in the areas uh, that they uh, need some growth in. So uh, that is a, a, a great program that we we even had this going on before the district um, started the initiative. So I, I feel not only do we, yes, we do stress grades here at North High School, but where I feel good on both ends of it as a, as a parent and a, and a coach is that we also provide them the um, uh, support uh, to be able to keep their grades up and, uh, and, and give them that structure that they need. So Omaha North High Magnus Schools created an academic program for students who are involved in athletics. As a faculty, we value our child and want to ensure that as a student athlete, we're not only preparing him and her for the playing field, but his or her academic achievement. And I can tell you that it's been a great program as a head coach. Um, every week during the season, I get a report of uh, all the uh, kids' grades, and and uh, and then we can uh, narrow that down by sport, and then we can provide support for them. So, thank you. We look forward to seeing you, um, and I believe that uh, Mr. Hankel will be back on next. And uh, if you have any questions, Ms. Daly eloquently put the emails out there for you. Please email your coaches and let them know. Have a great day. Okay, welcome back. So the uh, so as you can see, most of our uh, uh, presentation today has been talking about how North High School is leading the way in STEM and STEAM at the high school level here in Omaha Public Schools. Okay, we've talked about the STEM Academy, uh, which contains our biomedical, computer science, engineering, and precision precision machining pathways. We've talked about all of the opportunities that are available, the over 30 plus college level courses that you can take while you are a student at Omaha North High Magnet School so that you can get a start on that post-secondary degree that everybody is in such a high demand to obtain. The 18 AP or advanced placement courses that we offer, unique around uh, the state and unique around other uh, Omaha public schools, high schools. We've talked a little bit about our foreign exchange opportunities uh, based through our foreign language department, uh, where students have been able to travel to Germany, to France, uh, to uh, Italy. Uh, and uh, during those times, being able to experience much more than you could if you were just sitting in one of our awesome classrooms here at school. The last thing we talk about then that kind of sets us apart is our service learning portion of opportunities available in some of our classes. Our students go out and help uh, around Omaha with Habitat for Humanity, go out and help with uh, other projects going around uh, on around the city to try to give back uh, some of the great things that they've been able to accomplish here at North High School. But you might be asking yourself, what is different or, or maybe the STEM uh, ideas that we've talked about here today maybe aren't for my student. What else do you guys offer? So if we take a look at this next slide here, in addition to our STEM Academy, we are obviously a comprehensive high school where your students can come and earn their 49 credits to, have turned, to obtain that high school diploma. So we offer classes in military science, our JRTC program, which is great if you're interested in uh, being maybe a member of the military after high school. Physical education classes, um, business classes, drama classes, world language. We have we offer uh, Spanish and French as our foreign language, and we're looking at in the future possibly uh, having a Chinese as another one of our foreign languages. Instrumental music, social studies, English. Obviously, you're going to take English when you come here to North High School and you're gonna have four years of English and four years of science and four years of social studies as well. 
So those are going to be similar experiences, though, at all of our uh, public schools uh, that we offer here in Omaha. Now, uh, I think we're going to send it back to Dr. Nero and she's going to finish up with us today. All right, well, I'm sitting here truly as the proud principal hearing about how we are leading the way in STEM education. And while you're listening to the presentation, you might be thinking, I don't know about all that science, technology, engineering, math, engineering or math. I just want to encourage you to be open to new possibilities and challenges. Within each of those areas are a wide variety of opportunities, and they might be things that you never thought were possible. So I encourage you to really stay open to new ideas and new possibilities. I also am a proud parent of Omaha North. I happen to be a parent before I became the principal, and I can speak firsthand that my daughter came here to explore some of these opportunities and has found where she belongs. And so I really feel strongly that with all of the offerings that we have available, everyone can find where they belong. So um, just keep that in mind. And one of the things that we didn't talk a, uh, more about is that we will also be offering specialized support for freshmen. We know that the transition to high school can be a difficult one. So we have a we will have a team ready to provide that support to facilitate a successful transition. We also know that you have seven great options when you're looking and considering high schools. And we are grateful that you spent time with us today to learn more about what Omaha North High Magnet has to offer. On this slide, you have additional information on how to contact us. I wanna thank my colleagues who have been answering questions and appreciate everyone who has been asking uh, questions about the next steps. I do wanna remind students, it's really exciting to hear about these courses. Please note that those were four years of offering. So as a freshman, you might not be taking all of those really what you thought was the most exciting course, but you'll work up to that. So just keep that in mind is that we are really providing you a well-rounded education that involves a lot of different areas. So again, you have seven great options. We really feel strongly that if you check us out and see, we are, North High actually is the place to be. Please continue to engage with us, ask additional questions, send emails, um, follow us on Twitter and Facebook to just keep in touch with what's going on. We really appreciate you spending time with us. We appreciate your interest. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We thank you and V up everyone.